him play one of the most nail biter sets I've seen in a long time, taking it over Tilda, getting two massive wins today. Let's see if he can come out and get a third against Jen, who is right now sitting pretty in the winner's side. Mm -hmm. Pretty fine. I mean, I mean, like, look at it. Just like winner side grants. We can go home early, maybe. Maybe not. It's almost midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I, I feel like we're a good chance we're going to be Thursday, boys. Here. Listen, anytime we don't go home at 1 o'clock in the morning. All right. So we are uh, we got a little bit of word wow. that we can blame house uh, on so <laughs> uh Oh, <laughs> don't do that. Anyway, <laughs> no, give your prayers into house. Don't don't yeah. tell don't tell them that. Yeah, you know who doesn't need your prayers? John Numbers. I think he's doing quite fine all by himself right now. Look at that, 62%, and Jen dropped. Jen's on his second stock right now, and kind of, I mean, for the most part, Numbers hasn't actually gotten anything started, but nonetheless, let's, oh, actually, never mind. Jen's playing beautifully right now. Wow, untouchable. Never Ooh, mind. again with the callouts, had that with Tilde, however. <gasps> He was untouchable until a moment ago. And then he got touched real bad. I don't know, man. This is John. No, sorry, Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore on track, sorry. Gotta be more specific. Yeah, I don't know who this is. Because, like, who, know, who John numbers who? No, Baltimore on track. Oh, and there's deep oh. breathing. There's a sun. It's not enough to do it just yet, but... This is dominance right now from numbers. Three stocks to one. And uh, uh, wow. uh, uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah! Oh my god, that was so good from Jen. Please. Let me stop. Oh no. Is this gonna be where we see the comeback? The, the uh, loops? I mean possibly, but I think that numbers is I have not yet that was a really good stock that Jen took, but I don't see any crocs. <laughs> Props. And he cracks in numbers facade right now. Listen, he is doing fine for himself at the moment. What if Palutena wanted to have Crocs? Are you gonna? I don't see him. I don't see any Crocs. It's a knockoff Crocs, but like maybe even better. Please. Those anyway. are stilettos, dude. I think. Right? I don't know my I footwear. Think... <laughs> I don't know. See, this is the Crocs. Now, <laughs> th th that's just it. No, you have your Tim's, Yoshi. The Crocs, leave her alone, please. Okay, we're still at 58%. This is kind of looking really good for Jen right now. And that back air to shield Boken, period. Now, all it really needs is a good, like, you know, combo right now. Very nice pressure yeah. and... No! Oh. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting flashbacks to... Game three of their first set together in which numbers went for a, a nice cute little uh, deep breathing off stage and died at I think it was like 40 or something. Okay, gonna get the combo. And Jen is still, uh, granted it's very bad, but he's still 128%. It might, it might not be fun for deep breathing, however, John, John, we know John at ledge, and Jen, ledge chopper, amazing. Oh wow! wow. Look at all that damage, 150 percent. Jen has to be really careful right now from a sun or anything of its ilk. That's gonna be John numbers taking game one in grains. I don't workout. know. We fit looking like the the sun goddess right now. Is, is, or is, hail is, a raw. Uh, raw who? We fit. <laughs> we all fit. For the the we fit in the in the 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 lands of the the fit of the gods. Period. It's giving. <laughs> I I uh -huh. disagree that those were words. No. They onomatopoeia. Were, uh, period. Yes, exactly. They're onomatopoeic <laughs> representations of feeling. A feeling of anxiety because now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I called it out, did I not? Feelings of anxiety? Second stop already? Um, no. 15 seconds? I don't know. Mm. 
that's how he died. Numbers died in set three, by the way. And this time around, uh, apparently, jokes on you. Reverse Uno card. <laughs> but, oh. Uh, not again. We're not doing this again. <laughs> Look at that. Jen teleported past Sledge. She's like, I'm not dealing with him now anymore. Uh, I would I would hope not because look at look already like 58% and it's only climbing 81 and maybe even no deep breathing though deep breathing is it's right there and and John is just John is trying to Ooh. die to yeah, unalive good. that's exactly what's going on here good pickup right there for Jen uh, and at this point only about 80% I mean it's 93 right now but oh, deep breathing all of a sudden I, I have to say like opponent is at 93% that's not so bad opponent at 93% with deep breathing oh no <laughs> You want to know that's that's been the consistent option Jen has been doing to get off ledge against numbers and numbers. That's the third time, I, I, if I remember correctly, John has called that out. I mean, at this point, it feels like Jen is a little bit in panic mode. That, that was a gorgeous tech. Never mind. His he is with it 100%. Jen has to be really careful. Is this gonna kill? No. Oh well, no deep we breathing. Fit, yeah, we fit kills throws do not kill without deep breathing. <laughs> But you know what can kill? Oh, this no. jungle situation right here, where John has to be super scared. We finally, he's looking for a grab, I think. You know, with deep breathing grab from anywhere on stage, I believe, will kill. Just has to find it first. Oh no, this was such a massive lead for John. Is now kind of disappearing here. At 200%, he still can't find the cincher. And as a result, now he's already at 92. Mm. Finally, down there. That is absolutely gone. But. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. Oh, <laughs> period. You thought you could get that header? I think not. I think absolutely the heck not. That down air was a fluke at 200%. I think so. <laughs> I mean, listen, numbers is either killing at like 30 or at 200. That's <laughs> Yeah, back yeah. to the ledge. Period. <laughs> oh -ho -ho! Hey, no way. Is that actually going to do the deep? No, it's not. But Jen already at 137. Ooh. That will do it. That's a bracket reset. I was saying I think that Numbers has the chance to take the entire tournament. And based on how that first set went, I'm worth I, I'm doubling down. He's looking on fire tonight. Absolutely amazing. I don't know. What happened with Jen? Mm-mm. Was that also two frame at the end there? Yes. Dang, bro. It was at the like kind of end of the. Oh no, so. he uh he just like. Oh yeah. Well, that he hurt, teleported hurt. at like the level to the whatever. Okay, anyway, moving she into. A, she got knee to the face. Falcon, who? Please. <laughs> Very nice waiting. Yeah. Keeping John in disadvantage right now. We're in the truest of the finals. Not gonna get it, however. John retorting with 37% of his own. What was that about Jen getting some damage? I don't know, because it's all made up for us. Damage is a concept. Abstract. Damage, d damage is a concept, because it can be made up in just a blink of an eye. Ooh. Okay. Nice big damage from numbers. These guys are neck and neck right now. This is a going back. This is a back and forth we haven't really seen so far in this. But at least in the last set these two just played. I don't know. It, oh, it might have. Oh, wow. That was directional air dodge. There's so much lag on that. I'm surprised that Jen wasn't able to punish it. Oh, this could be really big. He doesn't have access to an air dodge anymore, but he is going to be getting back to the stage. He has to go so deep out there. I think what might have done it in that in the, that first set was a little bit of the fact that Jen was still going off stage. You know, you, it's okay to know when you can and can't go off stage. It was just that Jen was doing it a little bit too much. So now that we're seeing him slow it down a little bit, again, this is yep. exactly where we need to see him taking a little bit more of his time in, the, again, those specific situations. Because if you're not doing it, you end up in the situation that we saw him at. 
Yeah, he's opting for ledge traps now. I think that's where a majority of his damage on numbers has come from. He burns oh! his jump and recognizes the air dodge. Gorgeous stuff from Jen. Going to be taking the first stock here, drawing first blood in true finals. Let's see what else he can do with this stock lead. Numbers trying to find a way oh, to even things up. God. And I can't believe that DI. Wow. John has such good reactions with these. Um, oh, yeah. Absolutely, these um, explosive flames, period. Oh, nice. That back oh, no. hit of up tilt. <laughs> I was literally going to say, oh, no. <laughs> Deep breathing once more in effect. A single hit on Jen could convert into huge amounts of damage right now. Numbers trying to find it. There's that single hit. All right, ends up resetting the situation, just getting a little bit of stage control instead. Oh. Oh no, with no ball, that was actually a really bad situation for numbers, but he manages to get away with a murder pretty much. As now with some stage positioning, let's see what he can do. Not much, honestly. Like when Jen gets the ledge, he's getting all this damage. When John Number gets the ledge, Jen's able to get off of it pretty for great. <laughs> he wanted that. That's so crazy. But we're still very much not even anymore, but this is still very much scary because now John has the power. Yo, he spot dodged that F tilt. I think he was expecting the grab, but like, nonetheless, Jen seems to have a pretty decent oh, read. Nope, nope, <gasps> no, no. And he makes it back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wanted that down there. You're gone. Goodbye. 100% too. Uh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> God, God, God dang it. All right, we've already had quite a few extremely close games with John Numbers on stream. Are we going to be getting another one here in the first game of Grand F of True Finals? Both of these players are at zero. Numbers, though, is at the ledge. He has deep breathing. A single hit could convert into huge amounts of damage. But Jen playing so, so patient, so carefully, not even falling into any of it. That was a very nice high recovery right there, knowing that it could have messed with this recovery. Okay. Very nice play. Maneuvering around a lot of these projectiles really well. This is really what I love to see, only because, you know, that's kind of what hits Jen sometimes, especially when, you know, he needs these lead traps. It's John just consistently throwing out all these tools, and that might be why he... Might not get this, you know, game right here. Okay. 106% trapped off stage. Numbers trying to find his way back. That was a bit of a scramble situation on the shield. Nonetheless, though, staying alive. Jen finally, oh, he gets grabbed. Some damage. Now these guys are both looking like they're in the red here. And they're both at 100%. And if deep breathing comes in effect, it's going to be uh, Jen who has to be sweating quite a bit. And there it is. The crouch. That's oh something we hadn't God. seen at all from numbers. And he busted out at the very end there, managing to make that neutral air win. Oh, I don't even wow. think it mattered because he just caught the shield dropping. But uh, yeah, let's get a look at this last stock here again. Gets deep breathing. Look at that. Crouch is in his face. The up tilt whiffed. He actually went for the up tilt, but it just like didn't even hit the shield. But that kind of messed things up here. Yeah. Oh, it didn't hit the shield oh, because no. she was standing in place and she was too thin. <laughs> she was too thin and it, when she opened up the shield, did that expand her? I, I don't know, man. That was weird. They just didn't hit, I guess. Oh, no, but we're going to get on to the second game. And I don't know because honestly, what can what else can you do as Jen? I mean, like, I think he had a really solid game plan in that in that last one. It's just that when it came time to actually get the kill, it was a little bit tricky. You know, the majority of what he wants to be doing is trapping at the ledge, building up percentages, but then numbers is not giving him the opportunity to actually close out stocks in those sorts of, sorts of situations. And the thing too is is that John like has been really good with a lot of these pressures. Like, trying to just get back onto stage with a, a fair, you know, a nair, anything that is going to actively avoid getting grabbed or getting nair on shield is really good on John Numbers' part because, again, to your, you know, to what you were saying is that John, I mean, John can't actually kill. 
Yeah, and the safe, maybe this will change this time around. Numbers at 120, that's going to be it. Finally finding that down tilt two frame, converting into the back air. This is maybe going to be a different story here. Numbers has to find a way to close out this stock pretty quickly. He has deep breathing, so maybe that will help. But honestly, I'm thinking that Jen is looking a lot more comfortable in this game. Is that is absolutely going to kill only 25% on the board, and John is still looking very much comfortable. Oh my. And 23, just like that. that even? Hello? Not no more, but still. Oh, that, that deep breathing, I guess it kind of was worth it. But you never know when all of a sudden Jen is going to rush off stage and actually punish John for doing that. The up tilt. Things once more looking grim for numbers. Gonna get tossed off stage, not gonna die just quite yet to the back throw. And oh, <laughs> that's the sort of situation where all of a sudden Jen goes out deep to punish, and uh, things are looking scary for him. Oh, oh my wow. god! See, now here's the thing, too. I feel like, again, like Jen is, of course, positioning himself really close to the ledge. <laughs> and How? Did you see that? He blocked the soccer ball and it came back. It was the freaking Link Boomerang in disguise. So do you know something about that? No, never mind. No, no, absolutely not, no. But again, like with the soccer ball, it actually still has a hitbox, so that's exactly why that happened. However, Palutena said counter. Yeah, simply counter. Jen right now, 55%. This might be his last stock of the entire tournament. John has currently taken three of the last games that these two have played here in finals. Is he going to get the reverse 4-0 in order to take all of this Zeno? This incredibly stacked Zeno? It remains to be seen, but honestly, he's looking pretty good right now. Offstage at 55%, though. This is actually kind of... Oh, man. Again, it's the situations. Every single time Jen wants a ledge trap, it's consistently covered by John getting up and attacking fair anything else <gasps> that was totally punishable on shield all of a sudden numbers now 157 deep breathings in effect I think any grab could do it but non numbers has to get back down to the ground in order to find it first it's not gonna do it but Things are actually looking both for both players. This is extremely dire. Last hit situation. I don't know what that oh roll was. Oh my god. And Jen could have had an, <laughs> an up air, but no, just gonna stay on ledge. This is super, such a nail biting moment. No. And <laughs> no, that almost hit the down throw. Yes, the down throw. And, and the back air is gonna take it for a game three in true finals, period. Holy hell. The back and forth at the end right there. This is one of the most intense finals I've seen at a Xeno in a long time. And it's and gonna go is. all the way down to the wire. Game three of true finals is coming up. There is going to have to be a winner decided right here, right now. I mean, who do you think it's gonna be? I don't know. Do we have do we have the little chain of points in chat? I mean, I, I had my money on numbers, but that last game was such a nail biter. It, I, I don't know, maybe his his juice has run dry after how intense that was. It remains to be seen here. This first game starting out actually without almost no hits from either player. Okay, very nice up air, 54%. And Whoa! He's still living! No! He's still living! Oh my god. That would have been so cute. However, we're still off stage, and Jen needs to be careful again because you don't want what happened in that first grand finals. Absolutely not. You have to be super careful right Look now. Look at the reactions between these players right now. Just the so careful. They're watching each other like hawks, encircling, fighting tooth and talons at each other's throats. Right now, John Numbers is the one who's pushed to the corner here. Jen looking very strong with all of these back airs, but none of them are landing. Can he actually find a way back onto stage? Numbers with a little bit of control here. Can he do anything with it? Ooh, that was looking like a back air, but Jen wanted to be super safe. This is so neck and neck right now. Oh no! Ooh, and just air dot, spot touching that, but no, it's not gonna end up in anything. 
Very nice shield right there. And this is still so scary for both of these. 121 to 124. And this we're still at the ledge. The backer not going to hit. However, John needs to get out of here. He does not want to be in this position because he's used be everything. It. It's the first stock not no. gone. He's alive at 146. That's going to do it, though. Finally, that explosive flame. We had seen Jen go for it time and time again. And there it actually connects. And that might be super pivotal here. Already, John taking about 35 as he's now having to think about how he's actually going to take out Jen's first stop. That Aptil with deep breathing is absolutely going to do it. And now we need to see this neutral, this getting off of this ledge. Absolutely not. You could not be having any of this. Very nice roll in, and now we're in center stage, fighting for center stage. Who is going to get it? Oh, this is possibly a big opening for numbers. But it gets turned around immediately. Great damage. He's off stage getting hit by all of these little tiny things. Eventually, he's gonna, once he gets to the point where back here at ledge will kill, all of a sudden the game plan changes. Oh, he's not, he can my get, god! Oh. oh no, this is getting super scary. John is at 110%. John was previously super looking so well, but now Jen has such good control over this whole entire match. Only 52% and still ledge trapping, getting the backer, but instead gonna go for dash attack and forcing John to recover. And that parry is not gonna take it, however. It's just, this is the thing though, John is alive, and if there's a, if he is alive, he is going to fight tooth and nail as much as he can. That air touch directionally towards the blast zone. He should be making it back down to the ledge, but there is it gonna be. Finally, he commits to the ledge attack, and that's what gets him killed. Numbers having to make a huge comeback right now, as it looks like Jen has returned to top form. This is going to have to be a serious scrap for him if he manages to do it. Oh no, this is looking so scary, but John is going to get out of that position. Going to get that Nair, not going to get that upper, but he still has John in the corner, and John still has deep breathing. Going to get that backer to dash attack, and is still putting on the pressure. Yeah, he needs deep breathing right now to help secure kills, possibly. Whoa! Oh! Oh no! 43% that dash attack. Is he going to, what is he going to do? What is he going to do? Ooh. Even he wants damage. the down air. You know he wants that down air. Absolutely. That's going to not be enough just quite yet. At 170, still not it. That's going to be it. All right, last stock. Game three of Grand Finals after the reset. Numbers. Will he be able to bring this back, or is Jen going to maintain his victory right now? Listen. The Prince of New York has to retain his crown, Ooh. but it's looking like Freaking John Numbers wants that crown coming for the throne. Another one of those forward airs. That's another time that it's worked out for him, but these trades back and forth, that's going to be it. No, no, the ball saves him. Just slightly living that, but this can still be so scary. John wants deep breathing, and is he going to get it? There's the deep breathing, absolutely. Oh, is Jen going to overextend? No, he's being so careful. And no he way. gets that back air, period. And after so much back and forth, after oh, the ebb and flow of the match, Jen is actually the one who manages to take the entire tournament in beautiful, spectacular fashion at the end right there. I was so good, cleaned up everything. He was taking mental notes of everything that was going wrong that entire match, the lead trapping situations. He knew he needed to clean that up. Everything from just getting his combos, getting the pressure, knowing how John wanted to land. Jen was on top of that, and it is why he remains the Prince 